All right, since I, everyone's anxious to see the video uh, of my signal here, of all the stuff I set up, um, I thought I'd do one right now, even though I'm not done burying the wires yet for the case. Uh, the wiring is done inside the case, though. All right, and there it is. All painted, looks really good, except for a few BB gun uh, dents you can see there on the side. All in all, it looks pretty good, though. Nice and shiny. Made by Safe Fran. On the opposite side. And this is the side with all the wiring in it that comes through from the relays. It comes out the bottom here, you can see I'm not got to bury all those wires yet. It goes up that tubing into the gate mech. But anyway, take a look at the inside of the front where the relays are. And here we are. This is the spot here is where the batteries are going to go. I'm going to get two deep cycle marine batteries, wire them in parallel and get a charger that keeps them charged. A float charge it's called, a maintenance charge, either one. And as you can see, each relay is labeled. The XR relay would be this one here. And that one there is the XGP, this relay here. Slow drop away relay. And down here we got the motion detector relay. And we have the EOR or the flasher relay. Power supply right there. Goes up to these terminals and back. Minus is on that side, plus is on that side. And we'll take a look out here at the motion detector. In the alley back behind uh, the signal here. So anytime a car comes through, it'll activate the alley. Motion detector's right there. So as soon as I walk in front of it, the signal's gonna start up. And it's going to pick up shortly. You hear the flasher clicking in there. The rear lights will shut off as soon as the relay, or as soon as the motion detector picks up. I have it wired that way on purpose. And of course the bell is not supposed to ring again when it picks up. I gotta, I have one wire to wire to the uh, XR relay to keep it from ringing again. I didn't do that yet, so I'm almost done. And that signal still has to be hooked up too. That's that wire going up the fence there. I gotta wire that up yet. And then in here, I have a test cable to manually activate it. So I put that on there. What it does is it picks up actually no, what it does is it yeah, picks up this relay causing the XR to drop and then drops this one as well and this one, but this one does, this is a slow drop so it doesn't drop until after about three to four seconds. So here we go, I'll do a test run of that. Got the flasher relay. As soon as I pull this cable off, the uh, rear lights will stop flashing.
And I have the gate going up a little bit slower there, as you can see, so it's a little better on the whole clear since it was slipping before. But now it works pretty good. But otherwise, I'll be mounting a power off light right here. A circular light that flashes when the power is out and stays steady when the power is on. Um, that'll be added later on this week, probably sometime. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.